across the globe, but, it, but definitely also here in the United States. More cardiovascular deaths are attributable to high blood pressure than to any other single risk factor, about twice the number that are attributed to high cholesterol. In our study, we found that if we treated all people with hypertension to the recommended blood pressure targets, in each year of treatment, we could save about 13,000 lives and prevent about 56,000 heart attacks or strokes. But we were also interested in, from the perspective of the government or other payers, what is the value of treating hypertension? So what we found that overall, in all people with hypertension, if you treated them to the recommended targets, you could save money. In most cases, high blood pressure is a matter of work between an individual doctor and a patient, whereas clinical studies have shown that a team-based approach involving pharmacists, medical assistants, and other personnel in the clinic can really do a lot better job of controlling high blood pressure. The simple bottom line here is that treating high blood pressure isn't only good for the individual, it also makes sense as a national investment. We actually save lives and save money. There are very few treatments that do that. Physicians always focus on the benefits or risks to the patient at hand. Here what we're saying is this is good for the individual patient, probably even better than you thought, and it's really good as national health policy as well.